silver on the box but it could be white black blue green red you know whatever color you think so we do another little poll for that down below i'm going to start the build this is going to be a bit of a quicker build it's not going to be as in depth um as it was say for like the midnight pumpkin um if you wanted me to do a more in-depth thing on these um polycarbonate bodies then i can can do you know a video on that but i'm just going to get this one kind of done fairly quickly and then maybe try and get a longer video a run video done at the end so we're going to switch to a top down camera view now just to have a look at what actually comes in the box just so you can see what you get for your money um, i think i paid around 230 ish for this um, i have to go back and check um, it's one of the it was the most expensive Tamiya kit to date that I've bought. Um, but yeah, we'll have a look and see what we get. All right, guys, we'll just have a little quick look at the box. So that's your front. Gives you a really nice sort of picture of the uh, truck itself. On the sides, we've got a bit of details there. Um, the other side. Sorry about the ring light. Um, showing you the tyres, you get a speed control, you get a light kit, um, and then obviously separately required items is in the box in the middle at the bottom, telling you what you actually need to have to get this thing up and running. And then on the ends, we just get a picture of the truck, same thing. So let's take the lid off so you can see what's in the box. This one creates a bit of vacuum in there when you try to get it off. It's a really good fit, that box. So, there we go. This is how it comes. Very well packaged in the box. So, we'll start off with the tyres. They're a very hard compound. So, I can't see these being much good when you're sort of trying to do a bit of rock climbing or whatever but you know we'll give them a try we'll see how they go and if needed we'll change them out so next in there we've got the light kit um, which is pretty self-explanatory um, so you've got everything you need you've got the power connector for the battery zip ties and everything else that you need and then you get the standard O2 Tamiya speed controller fairly standard thing they do brush down brushless and then we have the lexan or polycarbonate body i'm not sure which these are but um, we need to away just for a second so as you can see you've got to cut the wheel arches and all this bottom plastic has got to be cut off um, and a good thing that you can do um, if you're unsure about the color is if you cut these out and save the larger pieces you can actually spray those on the inside and use them as a color check so that you can make sure that the finish that you're going to get is what you want before you actually go ahead and spray the body um, you've got these corner pieces as well which are big enough to do a spray test so that's another good thing let's put that one there right so next got the spare wheel cover and uh, looks like some trim mirrors and things like that and next we've got the wheel rims four of 
fairly standard thing. Um, and here looks like the shock absorber bodies and stuff. So I think on this one they are oil filled. Let me just double check. They look kind of like oil filled. We'll find out if we've got some oil in here. So next we've got the headlight surrounds and the Mercedes badge on the grill. And then, oh this must be the shock absorber bodies. So I'm not quite sure what they are. Let's have another one. Yeah, we'll find out anyway. But this is your shock absorber parts, the body and the top, the lids and stuff. Next, we've got a lot of linkages with the suspension and stuff in there. I will get this all out at the end and spread it out so you can see what there is. Um, in here, we've got again linkages and some brackets, um, some steering components in there. Uh, this one, we've got more kind of chassis parts. And in here, we've got the gearbox components, the housing. And in the bottom, there's this little lift out piece. And in here, we've actually got the chassis rails and uh, some other ancillary parts. We've got a fairly heavy bag there with all of our screw bags. We've got our 540 can, springs, suspension, servo saver, looks like some double sided tape. Uh, various other pieces, just all the hardware, screws, bolts, and stuff like that. And then in here, we've got like, the ends for the steering linkage rods, some servo saver pieces. Um, that's pretty much all in there. And then in this one, we've got the axles, the axle housings there. straw which we won't be using because it's 2.4 gigahertz not uh, the old 27 megahertz and then finally no, not quite finally but in here we've got the manual and I would assume it's up to Tamiya's usual you know very good detail uh, very good illustrations showing you what you need and where to put it so never a problem with Tamiya manuals. And then we've got these couple of instruction things to pick things up. So we've got the Tamiya LED light kit. And then, okay, this is just basically things about the kit. Uh, some information that they feel is important. And then in the bottom, We've got a sticker kit, there's an awful lot of small stickers in there, and then we've got the uh, window masks so that you can put these on and then when you spray, you don't spray over the windows and then peel these off and you've got see-through windows if that's what you want, or you could obviously spray them black, whatever you decide to do. So I'll just pop this stuff out on the desk. See if we can fit it all in. And we have bag C, which has a lot of parts in it. We've got the differential gears, drive shafts, um, the plastic bearings. I have bought a full ball race kit for this, so I need to dig that out before I start the build. So we've got bag C, we've got bag D, which has looks like oil in it. Shock absorber oil, I assume. Yeah, so it does have oil filled shocks because we've got some damping fluid in there. 
So that's bag D. Then you have bag B, um, which is just lots of screws and bolts and a couple of plastic pieces for the chassis. And then you've got bag A, which has got the large gear for the gearbox. Then you've got pinion gears, again, more plastic bearings, which I won't be using. The grease, just more um, cross spanner. Uh, doing the wheels and other pieces and then in here we've got some double sided sticky tape got quite a lot of R clips and again more screws and washers and various other things in there and then we've got this small sprue here with some servo savers on um, I'm assuming these are for different models um, for different radio gear so Now that's ACOMS and so hey where I think Butaba Tamiya. So we've got different servo savers depending on you know, what servo gears we've got. So that's what comes in the kits quite a lot. Obviously we've got the body too. Um but uh, yeah it seems seems like quite a lot of pieces. But uh, I'm sure this will go quite quickly when we start. So I'm going to end this here and then we're going to start the build. Right, so here we have the uh, engine and gearbox complete. Got the drive shaft sticking out the bottom. Very easy to assemble. Um, I bought the roller bearing kit, the ball race kit, there. Um, I've already used some of these inside the gearbox and um, replaced the crappy plastic ones that you get. So that's that all ready to, to go. And the next step is going to be, um, all right, we'll stick to here. Right, so we're gonna start on step eight, then move to nine and 10. 11, 12, 13, and we finish on 14 again. Um, once the gearbox and the chassis are together, so I'm going to get that done now and then we'll come back once this is completed. Right guys, I've assembled the chassis. Um, quite a lot of components to it, but it feels very rigid once you've actually assembled it. We've got the steering servo in there, so some cheaper servos I bought off eBay. I'm going to try them. Seems to be working okay. I uh, don't know what kind of torque they are, but um, hopefully it should be good so these two now are ready to get out the right way so this has to drop down into there and then then we need to pop some screws in through the bottom there to secure that so that's basically that and from here the next step is going to be assembling parts of the drive shafts and attaching a lot of more ancillary parts and then moving on to the axles so I'll get up to the point of getting the axles completed and then I'll come back to you with the progress report then so I'll be back in a bit right guys I'm gonna call it a day on this video because um, this kit is very very uh, depth it's got a lot more parts than say your midnight pumpkin and things like that there's a hell of a lot of small components so it's taken a lot longer to assemble um, but say so we got to the point where we got the chassis engine gearbox and we've got the front axle is all assembled um, spins really really nicely it's such a everything's such a good fit um, so yeah, I'm really impressed with the quality of the plastic. Um, it, it's um, just very, very well thought out kit, very well put together. Tolerances are good, screws fit well. Um, can't really complain about anything really. So I'm gonna call it here. Um, so like I said at the beginning, if you wanna pick a color, leave, your, leave a comment down below what color you'd like to see it. Um, and after sort of a day or so, I'll 
see which one gets the most votes and I'll order that in and uh, then I can crack on and get the body sprayed so if you like this video and you found it interesting please uh, subscribe and give me a like and if you feel so uh, feel like you want to leave me a comment uh, it's very appreciated so thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one Thank you.